Originally, I had not planned to go to this location, but my good friend Farah recommended it. After seeing a few pictures and looking at a few videos online, I was sold on the idea to go and set off on this little adventure. Initially, when we were looking for tours, we went to the local tour agencies and they were offering tours for about 6,000 to 8,000 baht for an overnight stay, which honestly seemed like a lot for what we were doing and it included some stuff that we just weren't interested in. But luckily, my friend Farah, she actually was able to find a tour for 2,500 baht and including the taxi services to the pick a point and back, it ended up being about 3,000 per person in total. So I have to say it was definitely worth the value and we actually found out that the same tour booked through an agency is actually double the price. So if you're traveling with a group and traveling on a budget, this is definitely the way to go. As we arrived at the dam, we were all taken away by the beautiful view. I mean, look at that. That was our first view and it was only about to get better from there. After leaving the taxi, we went through the quarantine checkpoint. We're basically to just check that we had the Thai COVID pass and we went through the park rules and obviously a lot of these are kind of a no-brainer i'm pretty sure i was one of the two people out of hundreds to actually look through it and really the only reason i looked through it was for this video so <laughs> there you have it we headed down to the dock where we were going to take our thai boat i forgot what they're called to be honest but yeah I need to figure out what they're called but anyway um we're going we headed to our thai boat with our tour guide to head to our place of stay for the night what was really nice about this group was really it was just me my two friends and two other french guys it was a really small group with this group we could really do whatever we really wanted we were all so excited to get this adventure started finally arrived at our little bungalows oh my god don't they look adorable i was like hella excited for this it looks so beautiful look at our view that's the view we have to live with <laughs> and accept <laughs> for the next night i guess so we finally arrived at our bungalows just in time for lunch but first of course we had to lay down our backpacks and check into our bungalows and I have to say we were all super excited about this I didn't really know what to expect in terms of bedding and a mattress but to my surprise it actually wasn't that bad so this is our little hut <laughs> for the night I'm gonna be honest I don't think I would mind sleeping in here more than one night um, there's a little window My favorite things about the bungalow was that everything was right there. The kayaks, the paddle boards, even the bathrooms were only a one minute walk and they were actually pretty decent for <laughs> the location. It was nice that we had the dock right there with some kayaks and paddle boards ready to go. After we got settled, we headed to lunch and as you can see, we had a beautiful spread of just delicious Thai food. We had stir fried vegetables, some pumpkin stir fry, and then some curry. Really good after the long day we had. After lunch, we got ready to head to the cave. This was one of the deciding factors when it came to this tour in terms of if we should take it or not because this was something that a lot of people had told me about and that I really wanted to go see. So there are some bungalows at the entrance of the trail that took us to the cave. Now, as you can see, it's pretty overcast. So we actually didn't have a lot of time. And our tour guide said that if it did start raining while we were in the cave, there is a chance that we would get stuck. So we were really trying to book it all the way through the cave. So we started our hike here. And as you can see, our tour guide kind of took off and left us but it was cool we were having a really good time and it was so just breathtaking all of the nature and everything was amazing oh, i love butterflies and this was just such a beautiful really yeah, paradise like the trail was gorgeous i mean just being surrounded by nature was such a treat and i was really praying that it wouldn't rain because if it does start raining that means that i can't film 
and that means that you guys won't be able to see the cave as you can see there were so many butterflies and i mean like all the colors that i've just really never seen before turquoise purple pink i mean obviously you know the one butterfly I did manage to zoom in on was the brown one of course but still really beautiful really really beautiful area and here's a shot of our tour guide who decided to randomly take a dip in the river <laughs> He was a interesting tour guide, let me just say that. So we continued on the trail and finally we got to the jungle. So within about 15 minutes of our hike, it actually started to pour down and rain. So this is actually the beginning of the cave entrance that we went into. Because it just started to rain, we were actually able to go into it and go all the way in. And it was really cool. They had some really sparkly rocks and you could actually hear the rainwater rushing through the entrance of the cave way in the back. Any waterproof equipment, but thank goodness my friend had a waterproof case for her phone. So she was able to take these videos. The next morning, we woke up bright and early to the beautiful sound of birds chirping all around us. When I say this morning was magical, I'm saying like, look, I'm like letting you know it was magical. Okay? It was just the perfect thing to wake up to, to be completely honest. There was no sunrise, even though I did wake up for the sunrise. I set an alarm specifically to watch the sunrise. And unfortunately, it was too cloudy for that to happen. But really, the birds made up for it. They were flying all around the bungalows and just singing away and it was like more than a girl can ask for so after watching the view and kind of sitting in a little moment of peace we prepared for our safari cruise our safari boat cruise and by cruise obviously i mean long boat okay we're not actually gonna take a cruise ship my tour guide told us that this was the tour where we could possibly see elephants and monkeys so i was super excited about this and my friends were too so we set off in the morning to go and see the monkeys and elephants and i'm talking wild elephants not no sanctuary a legit wild elephant now because we didn't have any binoculars or anything of that sort we could really only hear the animals but here you can get a snippet of some of the really 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 cute monkeys So this bird I was super excited for it is called a hornbill and this was definitely on my bucket list of animals to see in Thailand so I was really happy that I was able to check it off. Of course my camera fails to work. This is me trying to get a shot of one of the monkeys. I think I missed it. I'm pretty sure I missed it but they were there I swear. Then we were just listening to the nature mostly listening to the monkeys that's what you hear. We were even lucky enough to hear a wild elephant eating. You can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. The sound you're hearing is the elephant eating and pulling leaves from the branches. Once we were done and we got our dose of wild elephants, we headed back to our bungalows to feed the fish, which actually I'm pretty sure we had one of their brothers for dinner yesterday. I'm actually 100% sure. The best 10 baht you will ever spend in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> so since we got our shot out of the water, we wanted to see if we can get one in the water. Oh, here, I'll do one. Put it in the water and I can do one like... Oh wow! Really no, they're scared of the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so interesting. No, it's the camera, because look, I put it there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they won't go near the camera. Maybe they think you're fishing. But up close, they were more than happy. <laughs> I think my friend was right. They were scared that the camera was a fishing hook or a net that they probably used yesterday to uh, give us dinner, so. So after feeding the fish, we headed to breakfast and the breakfast was okay. I was actually expecting eggs for breakfast for some reason, but they gave us pancakes and that was fine. So after breakfast, well, we packed all of our stuff and headed to our next spot, one of the famous landmarks for Khao Sok. This landmark is the one that 
you probably will see on all of the brochures and all of the advertisements and probably most of the YouTube videos. It's super famous because it has all of these standalone rocks which make perfect for Instagram photos and really it's just really a sight to see because I really haven't seen anything like that before like at all. So throughout the lake there's actually these little houses like this. They, nobody lives in them. They're actually spirit houses. They're spaces so the spirits of the jungle can go and stay there and it's like a sign of respect and honor to them. So after about 15 minutes we arrived at the national landmark of Khao Sok. As you can see it's filled with beauty and these beautiful like individually standing islands, keys, whatever you want to call it. I think it would have been amazing to kayak through here but as you can see there's not really anybody kayaking i don't think it's allowed this is definitely something you have to do on your tour if you come to cal Sok. and honestly i think it's a requirement i would be surprised if they don't take you here so after we said our goodbyes we headed out and look i was starving the breakfast was not feeling so we were able to have our amazing lunch and let me tell you this was one of my favorite lunches that i've ever had in my life just the food was amazing but just the location was incredible they be like the same like you but they cannot that's right you understand that's right <laughs> Sometimes if you're some best restaurant in the world. This is one of my top restaurants in the world. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> the view is amazing. All I need is a beer or a cocktail. I forgot you know? there still before here. How's the food? Nice. Nice, yeah? yeah. Okay. Yo, with this view. This is crazy. Oh, he's already done. Five stars, right? <laughs> so after a quick and beautiful picnic on the water, we headed back to the dock and we actually were able to get a little end of our tour closing from our tour guide who told us a little bit more about the dam and the history behind it. That's what it used to look like. And now it looks like this. That concludes the end of the Kawasak tour. If you guys have any questions or comments about this tour, go ahead and comment below. I would be more than happy to answer any questions. Please go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. It will help me a lot. And make sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can be entered in the giveaway. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.